Oh, hey, it's my dad in a lab suit. Oh, all three of you are here. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, you kind of invited yourself, but same difference. This office is pretty awesome. I, this is not an office. This is a hallway. Are you okay? Sorry, but we're still getting things ready. Would you mind waiting just a little bit more? Feel free to wander around this floor and look around. All right, cool. Let's go steal all of their secrets. Really? We can look at anything? Thank you very much. All right. Well, there they go. Why don't you take a look around too, Solo? I'll let you know when we're ready. Sure, sure. Hello. This is the employee's lounge. I'm just taking a quick break before I get back to work. The lounge has a great view of the ocean. It's nice to look out across the water after staring at my computer screen for so long. Aw, uh, who could this be? Aw, uh, you're definitely not important at all. There's no way that you'll come up later in the game. What's a child doing here? Get out of here. I'm taller than you. How dare you? Look at this portrait. Definitely no one important on there. This is one of our special test facilities. It can replicate total vacuums in zero-g environments. We use this facility to test robo functionality within various harsh environments. Ah, oh, it's neat. Yeah, look at them in there fighting. Look at them go. Wow. They can create an exact replica of deep sea in space. This is just amazing. Truly fantastic. What do we have down here? Oh, this definitely looks like a place that I'm allowed to be in. Oh, you must be Dr. Geary's son. I'm Kinjal. Nice to meet you. Dr. Mars and I work in this lab. What's this? Project Hadron? What are you doing? This is highly confidential, so please stay away from there. You're lucky Dr. Mars isn't here. He would have gone ballistic. Oh, I'm sorry. Just don't do it again. Why don't you go on over to the other lab? I'm sure they're ready for you by now. I really messed up. I completely forgot that a lot of this stuff is top secret. Yeah, I don't know why my dad said that we could just look around at whatever we wanted. Hi, Dad. Oh, there you are, Solo. We're already here. Did you get to see everything you wanted? Yes, sir. Let's step into my lab. How was your match today? Guess what? Solo won. Wow. He's a champion. Way to go, bro. There were no match for him. Congratulations, Solo. You won. Can I ask you a question? Sure, ask me anything. What type of robo are you working on now? I know that different robos are designed for different purposes. Well, I develop robos for combat now, but I used to develop robos for space exploration. I've recently started work on a new combat robo that builds off the space exploration technology. So, you make robos that we use? Yep, and that's why it's important for us to hear your feedback. Uh, there's something that's been on my mind. That robo over there, is that a Ray Mach 3? You're a quick one, Liv. Yes, I'm currently in charge of the Ray Mach 3. I read about it in this month's Robo Freaks with an X. It's in the final stages of development, right? Solo never told me you were in charge of that. Do you think it would be possible for Solo to try it out? Wouldn't you like to try it out, Solo? <laughs> I'm afraid I can't grant you that wish. You see, it's still a prototype. I have an idea. Why don't you use the Ray Mach 2 for a battle? We can check the commander's ability at this deck here. I'm particularly interested in Solo's progress, as his skills have advanced so quickly. Yeah, I'm a pro tag. Let's go. That sounds interesting. Let's try it out, Solo. Are you tired, Solo? There's no point in competing if you're not at your best. You're fine, right? Yeah, nothing to worry about. That's the spirit, Solo. Your opponent will be an autonomous robo. Fight it however you want. I'm gonna beat the stuffing out of it. Once you're ready, stand on the left side of the deck. Let's get it. You ready? As I'll ever be. Battle program activated. Here we go, lads. Gotta beat up this pike. I can't wait to get the Ray Mach 3 instead of the Ray Mach 2, because the Ray Mach 2, honestly, I think looks pretty lame. Ray Mach 3 is way better. Oh, nice. I didn't think I'd get that, but I did. Nope. Stay back. Oh, hey. You landed right in front of me, you dummy. No, no, no. Not today, not today. Oh, this is a Stealth Hider one, so when he does air dashes, he, like, teleports, which is really cool. There's so many different styles of robots in this game. It's really awesome. A lot of different stuff you can do. Like I said, the game does kind of, like, uh, stick us to Shining Fighter, 
which is like the default class, so the one we have right now, early game. And even when we get the Ray Mach 3, the Ray Mach 3 obviously is just like it's the same class because it's this is the Mach 2. Also got another perfect. Let's go. But uh, later on, we'll get to start mixing up our Robos. It's really fun when they let you do that. Yo, 1550! That's almost a gun. <laughs> we can almost get a gun with that. Well, this is surprising. Solo, it appears that your will and mental energy are very strong. What does that mean? It means he's a natural commander. Of course, there are other abilities a commander needs. But the most important thing you need is strong mental energy. You see, when you dive, the robo reads your brain waves and uses that information to power itself. Yo, I'm a journeyman now? Look at my class. What a great class name. I get it. It's like you and your robo are one and the same. That's amazing. So if you had had four battles at the tournament... Four? You've only had four battles and you're already this strong? Oh, sorry to interrupt. I was just listening to what you had to say, Solo. Is your research instinct telling you something, Kinjal? I'm sure you're not going to let him just leave without a test. I'm jealous of you, Solo. You've only been diving for a couple of days, and you've already impressed two Neobrain developers. Make that three. Oops, my bad. By the way, Solo, it seems that your Raymok 2 is in critical condition. Your recent activity must be stressing it. Be careful, you wouldn't want to break it. Really? Speaking totally hypothetically, if Solo's robo broke, could you try out the Ray Mach 3? Haha, <laughs> good one. But in all seriousness, I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's impossible. Even though he's my son, I'm bound by my confidentiality agreement. Ray Mach 3, huh? That's an interesting proposition. What was that, Kinjal? What? Oh, nothing. Anyway, will you be stopping by on a regular basis, Solo? Well, Solo, what do you think? Would you mind stopping by here so we can run more tests? By looking at today's results, I think your skills could grow substantially. I do hope you'll consider it. You're a very interesting case, Solo. Yeah, we get to come back here again. It's so lucky that you joined our team, Solo. It's almost like it's the plot. Aw, oh, Dennis, you really wear your heart on your sleeve, don't you? Well, thanks a bunch, you guys. Sorry to keep you here so long. I'll take you downstairs now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I learned so much today. Thank you very much, by the way. Oh, no. Thank you. Please take care of Solo. Of course. I still have some work that I need to do. I'll see you later. No, thank you very much, by the way. How many times do you have to say that? It's pretty late. Feel like heading home now? Yeah, let's get out of here. Back home we go. Solo, you're just in time. Dinner's ready. What a shock. And there's my dad. Alright, that's the same flavor text every time, so I'm not going to read it every time. How was your visit to Neobrain today? Did you have fun? I did. That's good. I'm sure your father was glad to see you. I sure was. You guys are welcome to stop by whenever you want. Don't you have, like, a job? What if you're busy? Yes. <laughs> I'm curious to see your skills too, Solo. How about you and I battle next time? That meal was fab. What else is new? Alright. Same flavor text as always. I do think if I try and leave, they tell me not to, right? Oh no, I can actually already go outside. I thought that they wouldn't let you go outside until later in the game. At night. Although they block everything off, so you know. Oh, there's a park here. I forgot we need to go into the park sometime. For now, we just keep proceeding the game. Anyone in chat wear a nightcap to bed? I have never met someone that wears a nightcap to bed, I don't think. That I'm aware of, at least. Like, no one in my family that I know of does. Say hey, Solo, I hear there's a pretty big Robo Center nearby. So custom Robo's all the rage around here too, huh? Now that Solo's gotten into custom Robo, maybe he'll become a regular there. It would be a good chance to make friends. Ah, oh, look at the time. Looks like we better go. Thanks for breakfast. 
Yep, same as always. Better be on my way, yada, yada, yada. What if I didn't finish my pancakes? What do we have going on at school today? Oh, something that will come up later in the game? I think. Do it here. What will you read? So, there's a bunch of stuff you can read here. Law of Custom Robo, etc. Is this one different? No, that one's the same. Is it different on this side? Nope, it's all the same. Alright, so you actually will get exams later in the game. Like, they'll give you exams, and to figure out the answers to the questions, you can read this. History of Custom Robo. History 1, Burt. In 2049, Ergo Core developed Dive Command technology. Dive Command technology allowed users direct control of robots using only brainwaves. By 2054, a sport combining small robots with the diving system was created. Custom Robo was born. Since then, Custom Robos have moved beyond the sport and into many other fields. History 2. Uh, in 2060, the makers of Custom Robos assembled to hold the tournament. Their goal was to spread the appeal of Custom Robo and show off new technology. This, the first Robo Cup, proved to be popular, and more tournaments followed. By the third Robo Cup, the Holosseum had become the standard battle arena. The scale of the tournament increased rapidly as more and more contestants entered. In 2069, nice, Mason set a record by winning three consecutive Robo Cup tournaments. Many consider the Robo Cup the test of one's worth to be the greatest commander in the world. Alright, technology of Custom Robo. Do, do Custom Robos rely on a control center that mirrors the neural network of the human brain? This quantum brain requires input from a human mind that has been synchronized with it. By synchronizing, a commander can dive into a robo and control like his own body. The dive has an effect on the commander as well. His speed and cognitive abilities are enhanced. Because of this, robo commanders can respond and react quickly to changing environments. To the human commander, the world outside the Holosseum seems to move slowly. Uh, commander's control of his robo decreases as the distance between them increases. Control is unaffected at distances of up to 15 feet. However, beyond that, it becomes difficult to maintain brain synchronization. The maximum functional range for most commanders is 60 feet. Do a Holoceum is a device that projects a physical arena composed of tangible energy. Its boundaries contain the robos within as well as any weapons or explosions. The technology controlling the shield barrier remains a secret to protect civilians from hackers. To this date, no attack, not even from an illegal part, has broken free from a Holoceum. Alright, and then we just have the law of custom robo. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of laws. What the heck? Enforcement. The first reported crime involving a custom robo took place in 2054. Ten years later, the first robo legislation passed, preventing use of robos outside Holoceums. Current laws now can now include prohi prohibition against prolonged robo battles, as well as battles fought by children ages four and up without parental permission. These laws have significantly reduced incidents of civilian injury and property damage. Because custom robos possess the ability to do a tremendous amount of damage, security locks are in place to prevent them from being used outside the Holosseum. These security locks are intended to prevent any collateral damage that might result from a battle. Holders of certain licenses can disable these locks, however. Medical and construction robos have disabled locks, and these locks can be reactivated if needed. Bearers of a police squad license also have disabled locks in order to aid them in crime fighting. Okay. Illegal parts. Certain parts have been boosted beyond the acceptable power range for custom robos. These parts have been outlawed from common use, although they have been used illegally. Illegal parts have been linked to mental damage in both parties involved in a battle. Reports suggest that illegal parts have been linked to fatality accidents as well. The danger to commanders is far too great to legalize these parts for common use. Alright, there we go. We read it all. We're ready for our exam if we ever have it today. We might not even have it in today's stream. I don't know when they show up exactly. I just know they can happen. You'll know it's an exam if the teacher who walks up is a unique character sprite. If it's like Mr. Stubbs, that means you're having a test. Ding dong. Illegal parts to literally shoot napalm? Yeah, definitely. Where do I need to go? Do I need to go to the clubhouse, or... I don't remember what happens next in the main story. Oh, hello. Bad news, Solo. Liv went over to spy on the Forrester prep team all by herself. The rivalry between Midheart and Forrester really heats up when we get close to the competition. If Liv gets caught spying, there's no telling what they'll do to her. Who says what is illegal and legal in Custom Robo? Probably the Custom Robo Association, I would assume. 
For all we know, they could be making her eat cafeteria food. Oh no, that's it, I'm going to Forrester. I can't let her go by herself. I gotta stop her before something terrible happens to her. Yeah, like eating food. How terrible. Well, chat, looks like we're going to Forrester prep. Yeah, not the cafeteria food, the whore. I haven't seen you before, care to have a battle? Let's do it. This is a little rude, we're kind of blocking the park entrance now. Sure hope no one else wanted to go in here. Dude, I want a hurricane robo already. Give it to me. Oh, I think he got feet. Oh, I got feet too though, dang it. If I'd gotten anything other than feet. Oh, he took too long to get up. Let's go, got it anyway. All right, nice. One fourth of your HP gone at the very start. Love to see it. Take that sucker. Ooh, that three-way gun is really hard to dodge all the hits. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Drop down some of these bad boys. Don't mind those. Don't mind those. Those are friendly satellites. They're here to help you. They're supposed to keep you safe. Oh, I got hit. Dang it. My perfect. You ruined it. I was doing so well. Oh, there we go. Man, that one just sniped right through. I like... I, like, curved the bullet around there to hit him on that. I fought a lot of commanders in my life, and you're right near the top. Nice job. Yeah, I'm the best. Hi, Dennis. What have I done? I'm all alone. Solo, you came. I knew you'd come. Let's go together, okay? Forrester's this way. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Solo. You see that school on top of the hill? That's Forrester. That's where we're going, then. There's something off about the walk cycles in this game to me. Really? I think they're fun. Seem kind of normal to me. Uh-oh. They're gonna make her eat cafeteria food. Look, for the millionth time, do I really look that suspicious? Hey, you're like an all pink. Could you let me go now? No, something's not right. I saw you writing something down when you were hiding. Wait a sec. I know who she is. She's Liv, the captain from Midhart High. What? You're Liv? Now I remember. You were support for last year's Robo Cup champ, right? I heard you and Eddie split up, though. All I can say is, well. Word is, she's having a tough time recruiting teammates. Looks like Midhart's gonna have a weak team this year. Too bad for them, haha. -ha. So that's why you were spying on us? Worried about the competition? Sounds like you've got a reason. The tournament is going to be one big joke, but we'll be the ones laughing. Like so. <laughs> huh? Who's there? Sup, losers? Oh no, they found our super secret hiding place. We're standing in the doorway. Hello? Oh, how rude of us. We didn't notice that we had guests hiding back there. Since you've come all this way just to spy on us, why don't we have a battle? We'll see how good the famous solo so-called abilities really are. Oh, I'm famous now? Let's go, chat. Oh, no. You weren't being rude at all. As a matter of fact, we were just leaving. <laughs> I was being sarcastic, dummy. Now stop your complaining and get in front of the deck. You're not going anywhere until you fight. Looks like we're going to have to fight. Go get him, Solo. We meaning me. You ready? No. I'm just going to leave. Goodbye. Hey, you trying to escape? Oh, dang it. They stopped me with the power of their voice. I'm sorry about all of this, Solo. Yeah, you better be. I hope they let us out of here in one piece. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna beat us up? Like, what? I'm gonna get in some serious trouble. Looks like you won't have to wait for your beat down. I'll give it to you right now. This man's trying to step to me with a fogey as his robo. Going down, sucker. Oh, I got a better a better start. Let's go. Nailed it. Look at that damage. Easy 294 damage right out the gate. I hate this stupid snake pod. Do not like it. Stay away from me. I'm also tired of fighting enemies with the three-way gun. Why do they all have the three-way gun? Settle this the one way everyone knows how with children's action figures. Yeah, right? 
It's like Yu-Gi-Oh, but with less cards and more robots. I want this perfect. I want this perfect. I want it. I want this perfect! Oh dear. How did that not hit him? Ooh, baby. My time is gonna be bad, but if I just keep max health. Oh, there we go. There we go! Satellites for days! Look at that triple.